everyone! I hope you're doing well. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've made a video and I think that's because it has been a pretty long time. But I thought that I would come on here and share a few things that I recently picked up. So this is kind of a collective haul. Some of it I picked up just over the past weekend and then some of it I picked up like a long time ago and it's just been sitting here. kind of forgot about it recently just remembered so I thought I would share it and include it in this haul. So I guess I'll start off with some of the things that I picked up from Ulta. It's actually been a really long time since I've been to Ulta. Um, the closest one to me is about like 45 minutes away um, but we were actually in the area um, for dinner and a movie so I decided to stop by Ulta first plus they were having a 40% off sale um, on NYX and this is actually kind of inspired by my friend Jennifer who her YouTube username is inspired mom 824 I believe I always forget the numbers after people's usernames but I actually get to hang out with Miss Jennifer tomorrow so I'm really excited about that but um, she is really into cruelty free cosmetics and um, she's recently started to go natural as well she's really awesome definitely check her out she's so funny and so sweet and I really enjoy watching her videos and she's just a really really sweet person in real life as well um, but anyway so she actually did a NYX haul um, a while back and it's been a while since I've actually purchased any NYX um, the only NYX stuff I have actually are their round lipsticks and um, some of their ultra pearl mania eyeshadows and I bought those years and years ago like right when I first started YouTube and I learned about NYX so it's been a really long time since I purchased anything from them so I decided to take advantage of the 40% off sale and I picked up just a few things the first one being this um, NYX Mega Shine lip gloss and this is the one that everybody talks about so I thought I would give it a shot especially because it was 40% off this was actually on sale for $2.99 and I had a $3.50 off coupon for $10 or more so that was pretty cool I ended up buying um, these four things for a total of $8.39. This is in the color beige that again everybody talks about so I thought I would give it a try. It's just a really pretty kind of like neutral pink color and my goodness this smells so good. Everybody talks about this smelling really good and for some reason I just assume that lip glosses and lip products are going to smell like vanilla just because for the most part they are. They're usually like vanilla scented. I'm not a huge fan of vanilla but this is cherry scented and I love anything cherry scented. I could smell this all day. It smells really, really good. Um, let's put some on. Yeah, it just smells really good and I really like the color. It's kind of just a really natural color. Um, I don't even know if you can actually see it on my lips. It's um, almost kind of like my lip shade except um, a few shades lighter so I do really like that so far. I've heard really great things about NYX blushes so I thought I would give one a try and I picked up this one and this is in the shade PB13 or Mauve. Um, I don't have a blush this color. I was looking for something kind of more like neutral, a little like kind of um more kind of a brown tone pink color so I decided to go with this one I was looking online and I wanted raisin but um, I don't think they carry it at Ulta so I ended up getting the mauve color and it looks really pretty I haven't tried it on yet but it looks like it's just gonna be really natural kind of like a pinky brown kind of like slightly peachy um, I think this is gonna be really nice for like every day so I'm hoping that that's good I haven't used it yet and the last two NYX items I picked up were these eyeshadows and these are their NYX nude matte eyeshadows and I picked up two colors the first one being um, number four in maybe later and it's just this kind of um, it's kind of like a more like yellowy toned brown almost like a yellowish green brown I don't know I don't have anything like this um, so I thought it would be nice to just pick it up um, and give it a try I did swatch this in this store and it seemed like a really nice color the pigmentation was really good um, it's not exactly matte and that's kind of what I was reading on reviews that these um, nude matte eyeshadows aren't exactly matte some of them actually have a little bit of like kind of a like a satiny type finish to it. I also picked up number 21 or Craving and this one is just kind of like a medium kind of gray color. It's very flat, kind of looks like um, cement a little bit. Um, I don't know, I don't have anything like this in my collection so I thought it would be nice to have. I've actually been looking for kind of a gray eyeshadow so um, I'm glad that I found this and these were on sale for $2.69. The blush and the lip gloss were on sale for $2.99. So yeah, I thought I would try that out. 
So that was my little mini NYX haul. I'll be using those products and seeing how I like them. And if I do like them, I'll definitely have to go back and check out some more products from NYX. So the next few products I have are actually from Outlook. And I have a couple products from the Balm. And I love the Balm. And I normally um, order their stuff from Outlook just because whenever they are on the website, they are 50% off. And I think that's a great time to purchase some things. And I have been loving my Nude Tude palette from the Balm, and I love their blushes. So I wanted to give a couple more palettes a try. And the first one that I have here is their Balm Jovi palette. This is the Rockstar palette, and it's a face kit. It has a mixture of eyeshadows, um, lip products, and then a couple face products. And this was, um, again, 50% off on Outlook. And I'm super excited about this because, like I said, I love my Nude Tude palette. So this is definitely going to be really nice to play around with. There's actually quite a few neutral colors. Actually all of these I feel are kind of more on the neutral side. Like a lot of the colors are kind of more earth toned and just really wearable. Um, but what's really cool is that this is broken up into kind of like three sections. Like this first row of eyeshadows is the heavy metal one. And this um, these eyeshadows have either like shimmer or glitter in them. Um, the next row is the classics. Um, or the classical and these have all just kind of matte eyeshadows and then this last row here is the alternative and these are kind of more like pearlescent or kind of like more satiny type eyeshadow so I think that's really great that they broke it up that way it's just a really great mix of finishes and different colors it also comes with this highlighter um, this is the solid gold luminizer and then it also comes with a blush and like I said I love their blushes and then you open up this flap and I think that's genius that it has this cover because normally if you have like cream products in a palette with powder products when you use the powder products, it kind of goes into the cream products and makes a big mess, so it's nice that it's covered like that. Um, and then you have two little lip products here. Um, actually, you can use them for your cheeks as well. So the first one is Millie, and this is Vanilli. And then on this bottom flap here, it kind of gives you like suggestions of how to pair the colors together to create a look. So I think that's really, really cool. So there's the palette up close. I cannot wait to use this now, now that I've finally shown it in a haul video. So I picked up another palette and this is the Meat Matte Nude Palette and I was really excited to see this on Outlook because this is kind of like one of their newer palettes and I was looking for more matte eyeshadows as well as some more neutrals because those are nice to go to like every day just because they're a lot easier to wear but these eyeshadows are massive. They are so big. Let me just compare it to the eyeshadows in the Balm Jovi palette and the, these are the size of the eyeshadows that are in the Nude Tude palette as well and look at how big this is like that is massive I think it's almost like I want to say like four times bigger than these eyeshadows so you get definitely a lot of products in this my last Outlook purchase was from Embryo Lease and they were on I think a few weeks ago and I was really really excited because I got a little sample of their 24-hour like miracle cream I think um the one that they're known for. I got that in my birch box and I absolutely loved it. So I was like, I'm going to buy a full size of that. And I think I still will. I'm, I have some birch box points that I think I'm going to use on that. Um, but I saw this and I was like, I really want to give this a try. This is their Hydra Matte Emulsion. Um, you get 1.4 fluid ounces of product. I can't remember how much this is, but um, the the original price of this I think was around like $40 which is kind of expensive but since it was on Outlook I decided to give it a try because it was on sale and this is kind of a mattifying moisturizer and I'm hoping this is as good as the their original kind of like cream that they're known for I'm hoping that it's as moisturizing but it's nice because I do have kind of oily combination skin especially my t-zone so it'll be nice to get that moisture but also not be like oily and shiny so I haven't tried this yet I might do like a first impression just to see how well this holds up let me know if you'd like to see that but I'm really excited to give this a try so over the weekend Blake and I went to the outlet stores and we actually have an outlet store closer to us and they used to have a cosmetics company store there and they recently closed so I was pretty bummed because I actually had a store credit to use there so I was like well since we're going to the outlets I might as well use the store credit because I don't know when I'm going to come back. So I ended up picking up this set, and this is from Origins. This is the Origins Let It Glow set. It's probably like a holiday set or whatnot, but it was $26 at the CCO. And I picked it up because it actually had a full-size Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream, and this normally retails for $30. Um, 
So I picked that up. The whole set was $26. So I ended up getting a discount on this as well as getting a couple other items as well. Um, it also came with just a little baby ginseng mascara, which I probably won't use. Probably give this away or something just because it's not waterproof. But it's a mascara illuminator or a brightening mascara to lengthen a lip. So I've never heard of like a brightening mascara. So I'm not sure exactly what this is all about. But that was in there. And then it also came with a pretty good size of the um, Origins of Vita Zing SPF 15. I've heard so many great things about this. It's just the moisturizer and it has kind of like a self-adjusting tint to it so I thought that would be nice especially um, you know the warmer months are here and I might try just using like tinted moisturizers and stuff like that so I thought that was in there I might as well give it a try and the whole set again ended up being a really great value at $26 and the last thing I guess I'll talk about is this nail polish I picked this up at Walmart over the weekend um, we stopped in to buy like car cleaning supplies and I was like, well, I'm going to stop by the makeup section and I ended up picking this guy up and this is from Pure Ice. This is my first polish from this brand and I actually picked this up because of Vintage or Tacky. She talked about this um, saying that this is an exact dupe for Butter London's Black Knight and this is in the shade Private Show and I do have it on my nails right now. The fact that it is like a straight up dupe for Butter London, it's a great deal because this was like under $2 and Butter London's like $15. So I definitely had to pick it up. So that's it. Those are the things that I picked up recently or not so recently. Um, let me know if you guys do that too. If you guys make YouTube videos, if you feel like you can't use a product until you show it um, in a haul video, I don't know. And then for me, like I put it away to do a video and then I like completely forget about it. And then like a few months go by and I have this brand new product, which is kind of cool because it's like I just went shopping, um, but I really didn't and I've had it for a while. So it's nice because I've just like rediscovered these things that I haven't even used yet. So Definitely going to be using them now though. So thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.